Hi guys, welcome back to Sparky Face 5. Today's video is a call to action. I want you guys to help me design animals for the 3D block zoo. In Tinkercad. Let's get started. Three D Block Zoo. Well, Heather from Three D Pink Mafia and myself have teamed up to learn Tinkercad, and one of the first things we decided to do was uh, use simple block shapes to make some cute animals. They were very popular on Twitter, and what I'd really love to see is a lot of you guys giving it a try as a community group effort to populate a three D Block Zoo. So in this video, I'm just going to show you quickly how I created a 3D block penguin. And then I'm going to issue the challenge for you to give it a go as well. It is, it is an interesting challenge. Being so small, you have to learn what uh, size details can be. Uh, big enough to be seen, but small enough that they're not overpowering. Um, additionally, because the prints are quite small, you can learn very quickly what sort of angles and, and uh, details your printer is capable of printing. It took me maybe half an hour to make this penguin, and uh, I'm sure if you had a bit more experience in Tinkercad, it could take you a lot less time. And it only took about 20 minutes to print as well. So yes, yeah, 3D Block Zoo, guys, I want to see, I want to see a whole range of animals uh, Terry King from Far From Finished another YouTube channel doing 3D printing he made a 3D block fish a blocky fish and uh, it looks like a piranha it's, it's pretty cool so I'm gonna link that one in the description as well so um, yeah get on the design bandwagon give Tinkercad a try it's very interesting and tweet me your 3D block zoo animals I'm at SparkyFace5. Can't wait to see what you come up with. Thanks for watching. Ciao. If you'd like to support the channel, you can. Every dollar you do counts. And it helps me bring more content and get materials to make more models and do more experiments and more fun things. Print all of the things. Thanks, guys.